How's it going, my truant people? Dr. Slacking, the Slacking Doctor, back on Pokemon Showdown with week 8, I think, of the ABC. I don't even know at this point. Week 8, I think, of the ABC. We're taking on my good friend, Dreadful Dragonite, and the Dreadful Dragonites. Uh, his YouTube channel, because he is another YouTuber as well, his YouTube channel will be linked down in the description for you guys to check him out. I know he's playing through uh, Pokemon Ultra Moon, I believe, at the minute. It could be Ultra Sun, but I'm pretty sure it's Ultra Moon at the minute. Um, he's doing a really cool playthrough of that, so I definitely recommend you guys check that out um, and check out his channel. But we are taking him on today, so hopefully he is ready and waiting, and I can see him in here. Um, D. I can't see him. <laughs> oh, I was hoping this would be easy. I'm assuming his name is Dreadful Dragonite on here. Um, if you haven't seen it already, guys, I should say at this point that we... Um, we recorded a um sorry one sec what's your name on showdown let's get this sorted so that we're not sitting around waiting uh, but yeah we recorded a video me and strumpf will record a video which should have been up by now before you guys see this uh, which is a team builder for this match but also kind of just a general video on how to build for um for draft league format um I'm guessing he is not... Oh, no, he's there. Um, how to be built for the Draft League format. So if you haven't checked that out, that is on the channel. I would definitely recommend checking that out. I'll probably link that down in the description as well so you can see the the um, team builder video where we built yep, this team here. Hopefully it works. Um, th th my fear with this is that you guys are going to see um, how well Stromp helps me build my teams and Pokemon Trainer Hakim usually as well. How well they help me build my teams and then be able to see how badly I actually do with them. <laughs> um, it's a little bit frightening. Um, it's a, it's a, a little bit uh, nerve-wracking that you guys can kind of see like, well, that's not what you're supposed to do. That's not what Strump said. You're supposed to do it like this. Or you're supposed to do it like that. But I mean, hopefully we can just get off to a good start here. So he's brought the Sun team. <laughs> and there he is. Make sure you to ditch your boy slacking and come to my channel. <laughs> We're just going to call him a snake very quickly. Um, so let me think. Let me concentrate. He's brought the, brought the sand and the sun. He's brought both. Okay, so he's got double weather mode here. Um, no no Stoutland, though. So we outspeed everything with Coco, I believe. We definitely outspeed everything with Darmanitan. I'm guessing he's going to lead with one of his weather setters. So Darmanitan's a good lead here. Okay. So... He doesn't have a good switch into EQ. I say we just fire off a powerful EQ straight away. I don't know what Torkoal's going to do to us. Um, <laughs> this man, he's still calling me out. I don't know if you guys can see this on your screen. Dreadful Dragonite has better content. Um, he does have the Sugar Berry. So, let's see. Um, let's go. I'm sorry, you guys are going to have to see my calcs. Because basically, my laptop, my trusty laptop, which I usually do my calcs on... Um, unfortunately died, so I can't calc on anything but the computer that I record on now. So you're going to have to see um, how much of a mess I make of all of my calcs. So he has uh, Shookerberry, as we saw. According to this, he should have been taking 19 to 23% from the... Actually, we should drop this link in the Discord for everyone that wants to... Uh, watch um he should be taking 19 to 20 percent i'm actually gonna close discord now because that noise is gonna annoy me he took 30 percent so he is not max hp or yeah not max hp max defense so that's interesting unless we are adamant we're hitting 416 attack so we are probably adamant are we we are adamant he still took more than we would expect. We expect to see this 21 to 25%. Um, he took 30. So that's just to me that he's not max HP, max defense, which means we should do 50% without the sugar berry. So let's quickly do some maths here, guys. <laughs> this is what I'm doing on the laptop to side. Now you get to see what I'm usually doing off to the side every week. Um, not typing in the exact same number that was in before because that is useless. 150 well let's go 152 um with the sugar berry we still only do that much 
I am calking against the right mon here, right? So... That would be if we'd done a max roll, this would be his set. Um, so it could do 60%. If we get a max roll, we could do 60% to him this turn. Is that worth staying in and trying to get 60% on him? Um, let me think. And that's if it's a max roll. If it's a max roll. Let's do that. Um, let's just consider this. Do we have any chance of taking him out from this range? I'm trying to think how much the Shookerberry brings it down by. That would be easy, wouldn't it? So Shookerberry now max 32. Now max 64. So it cuts the damage in half. So if it did 30%, yeah, we'd be expecting to do 60%. That makes sense. Or thir yeah, yeah, because he took 30% off. Yeah, yeah. So we expect him to do 60%. <laughs> see, like, <laughs> he's already known we're doing these mad calcs. Um, see, I don't feel like he's going to stay in. I feel like he's going to bring in the v Venusaur. But would you bring in the Venusaur? You wouldn't bring in the Venusaur against Darmanitan. Let's do it again. Let's go again. We get the crit. Oh my goodness. All those calcs, and we get the crit. Um, I'm sorry for the crit, Dreadful Dragonite, man. Um, as if you're watching this back, you would have just seen that we just calculated that I don't think I would have took you out from that range. So that's, that is highly unfortunate. Um, but I will say that I guess his only switching was the, the Finny, which under Sun isn't that great. So, um, we were going to do some damage anyway, but certainly having Darmanitan take no damage there is nice. Um... Uh, okay, so here we go. The the Finny does come in. Now, I don't really have a good Finny switch in. I don't really have a good Finny switch in, but... Thing is, I don't want him to start. So what I'm thinking here, guys, sorry, I should explain my thought pattern to you. What I'm thinking is, if I go into Tapu Koko, we, we saw that we can eat a hit from it with the Assault Vest. Um, and if he goes for the Calm Mind, then we're in for pretty much free, and we can just start Thunderbolt in this thing. If he doesn't Calm Mind, I don't want to take too much damage, but then under Sun, it's going to do nothing. Yeah, Koko's a switch in here. It's not going to do anything under the Sun. Um... All right, we take we take nothing from that. We tank that all day. Let's nature's madness in case he wants to go into the Venusaur here, expecting the Thunderbolt. Um, that's what I would do. I would say, okay, let me bring out my Venusaur. We can nature's madness it once, and then we can Volt Switch out into something that actually wants to face off against the Venusaur. Okay, so he goes in the Tyranitar here. Um, interesting. Are we going to be able to? <sighs> We don't have Dazzling Gleam, so we can't do a lot more. Um, is it even worth calcing a Thunderbolt? So, 289 attack. I don't even think we're hitting that, are we? It's a special attack. 229. Um, I try. I can't even remember our exact spread. So, it's like, are we not even invested? 226. So, that's roughly our special attack. Um, 2A Tyranitar. I'm fairly sure... Uh, so offensive Tyranitar, so roll, we, we, we should be able to take it out, but if he's even a little bit invested, let's say he is bulky Tyranitar. Um, I mean, that's not so bad, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to let Coco go down, so let's Volt Switch out. He took 20% from that Volt Switch, so let's quickly slap Volt Switch on here. See what kind of investment he's rocking with. So he is definitely invested. Oh my goodness. Um, this man is, I think, look at that 229 special defense. Does that boost your special defense? No. Does Impish? I only know defense boost in nature's man. Why do I not know special defense? Sassy, that does. 328. So even if this man was max special defense, max HP, he would take more than that so he is assault vest he is almost certainly assault vest um i feel like don fans a safe switch in then um i don't see him being able to do too much though don fan so let's go into don fan here 
Ooh, the ice punch. Oh, and the freeze. And the freeze. Um, presumably he's going to go for an ice punch again, so Milotic's a safe play. Maybe I should have gone into Milotic first. I didn't expect him to make the read on the ice punch, if that's what he was doing there. Um, that was one hell of a read, but we can get the Milotic in for free now. Don Fan, okay, isn't doing a lot, but it's a potential free switch in later on. Um, we can sack it off for something else. Um, maybe get Don Manitan in for free or Mega Gallade in for free, which obviously is our, our biggest hope is to get Mega Gallade in for free at some point. Um, admittedly, I could try and do that now, but it's too early with the Venus also running around at full health and the Finny, I believe, at full health. Um, okay, so he goes for the power up punch. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that because we do have that flame orb, so. Um, do we. I think we can scold. He'll probably go into the Finny, but. Uh, I mean, we could just try and recover. Let's just recover. If he decides to stay in, we'll scold him next time, I guess. But let's just recover because. Uh, I don't want him to stay in and start setting up. Okay, goes into Helis, probably dry skin, is it? No, okay. Um, and we get the burn, which is quite nice. Um, this thing doesn't have setup that I'm aware of, so Donphan is a free switch here. Um, let's go into Donphan. If he takes us out, then that's absolutely fine, because like I say, it gives us a free switch into something else. Um, into like Don Manitan or something that can hit this or even Mega Gallade actually wouldn't be bad to bring in here So let's take a bit of damage. Let's hope he makes the read and okay goes for the sub Maybe this thing does have set up and I've just made a terrible mistake uh, But we can break this thing sub we can get through this so I'm not too worried um, Can we get the first turn defrost please don't have calm mind or something please don't just start setting up on me like crazy uh, Okay, he went for the sub u-turn which Is fine Honestly, that's fine. Finney comes back in. We do Thor first turn, which is really nice. Um, we obviously can't take anything from this Finney. So let's just... What do we need Don Fan for at this point? Mm, it, can, it can still do quite a bit to Garchomp. It still kind of obviously threatens out his Heliolisk by the fact he didn't stay in there. He obviously doesn't have a hidden power for us or anything like that. So I don't necessarily want to let Donphan go down. Um, who's Coco good for? Coco's good for everyone and no one. That's kind of this Coco set is, is just good, but it's not. Let's bring in Coco again. We can, we've seen that we can eat a Surf if that's what he goes for again. Okay, so he goes for the Calm Minds. I'm glad we came in because if he wants to start Calm Minding, then we just start Thunderbolting. I mean, do I want to try and grind this thing down? Do I think he's going to stay in? I have a feeling he's going to stay in. If he doesn't, then I just switch out. If he goes out into the Guard Chomp, then fair play. That makes sense right now to go out into the Guard Chomp. Um, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We can still keep switching in on this Finny. We can take another Surf from it. At some point, it's going to get whittled down, so. Okay, stays in. He does stay in. Goes for the Moonblast. That takes us out. So, he now has 35 for 39. Um, Moonblast is going to do a lot, but how much is Poison Jab going to do? Let's say he is... We could have done with getting one bulk up up to make sure here. That would have been really nice. But let's say he's a bulky finny. Let's say he's a 252 in defense, Finny. Um, poison jab. We should still do two. We should do about 51%. And at 283 speed. Uh, he could outspeed it. If he's timid max speed. He's not timid max speed. I'm making this call now. He's not timid max speed. Let's hope I'm right, but there's no way he's timid max speed. No way. 
Man, if he's to mid-max speed, I'm, I'm going to be so salty. <laughs> I'm going to be so upset. Um, I don't even know if we are jolly max speed, though. I think we are. I'm pretty sure we are. How is he? Oh, no, 295. I was reading 395. I'm so dumb. I was thinking, how on earth does a Finny outspeed a max speed Gallade? We are fine. Let's just poison jab this man into oblivion. If he switches out, Venusaur is his best switching, but he's got to fear the Zen headbutt if he goes into Venusaur. So... Hopefully he won't do that. Um, we might be free to bulk up on the Venusaur. I'm not sure. Come on, take it out. There we go. There we go. So Finny's down. So that Coco, losing Coco. Um, this is an intense battle he's saying in the chat. It, it is. It really is. Um, that Coco going down doesn't matter too much now because the rest of his team kind of handle Coco, especially without Dazzling Gleam for the Garchomp. Um... And he doesn't have the sun. Oh, he does still have the sun. He doesn't have the sun. So, uh, Venusaur's not going to benefit from the sun. If his Heliolisk was solar powered, that's not going to get the sun. I don't know what his Heliolisk was. Um, depending on what he goes into now, this could be it. This could be the sweep. Let me think. What else do we have going on still? So he goes into Tyranitar. This thing we've seen, it's, it's offensive. So I don't even want to try and bulk up on this thing. I just want to drain punch this thing out of here. I don't... I don't. I, I would like to bulk up on it, but if it's... If it's offensive and, I don't know, he clicks... Um, Stone Edge and crits. I don't know is if fighting resists dark type, so I don't know whether we could live like a, a crunch or something. Um, now this is something I think I can set up on. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna try and set up here. We're gonna try and set up here because I think that Darmanitan and Hydra are gonna have uh, handle the Venusaur. Um, and the Heliolisk, okay, so we're going to try and set up on this man. <sighs> oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, okay, he's going to be in Ice Shard range, though, so that's fine. We can't get the sweep, but he is now in Ice Shard range, so this is a quick kill here I'm pretty sure he's oh no we're not max attack we are max attack so he's not he's not ah that's me being so used to be max attack he goes for the swords dance whoo we are lucky there we are lucky boys I should have I'm so used to running adamant max attack Don fan I forgot this was a defensive build uh, having said that he would have had nothing to hit me back with in return I'm pretty sure we would have tanked we would have tanked something and got our berry to pop um, it's fine that he switched that um, that out because I'm pretty sure we still we will outspeed it with Dan Manitan and be able to take it out so uh, he doesn't have anything on this Helios for us I'm pretty sure so I don't know why I can't EQ here why can't I EQ here he could go into the Venusaur but that's fine I guess he just wants some chip on us I don't quite know I don't quite know the thinking here but that's okay he does go into Venusaur. Um, that's what I thought. We still do pretty impressive damage to the Venusaur. Um, I'm guessing this is not a massively bulky Venusaur because I wasn't expecting to do that much. That was a, a bit more than I was expecting. Um, I think we've got it from here. I think we've got it from here. So... This is going to hurt so much, but the thing is, if he oh, if he switches out, is he going to switch out on me? Just in case he switches out, just in case he tries to preserve the Venusaur, he doesn't. He doesn't try and switch out. Um, interesting. Don't go for the Giga Drain again, please. Okay, he doesn't go for the Giga Drain. Went for the EQ. He doesn't have that much HP he can take off as this turn, so that's fine. Um, we've already seen this thing isn't dry skin, so that's fine.
I didn't want to go, the thing is, I didn't want to flare blitz with the Dimanitan early. The reason I should probably explain my thinking there, if I, if I flare blitz with the Dimanitan on that Venusaur straight away, it gave him chance to whittle down my Dimanitan with the recoil damage if he'd gone into, say, Garchomp. Uh, he would have just sacked the Garchomp more than likely. I would have taken some recoil damage, and it would have just kept grinding me down. I didn't want that. I need the Dimanitan to, to be able to face off this Venusaur, um, as it will do in just a second. So he's going to get Drain to get a little bit back. But now, I'm pretty sure, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that we can take it from here, so... Let's Flare Blitz, um, straight into this Venusaur. If he goes into Gar Garchomp, it's a good play. But, um, then our, uh, um, Hydreigon come in and probably Draco Meteor this Venusaur anyway, so... But he does make that play. So hopefully we live this. Do we live? We do live. That's nothing. That's no damage at all. Okay. I didn't think it would be much at all. Um, so we take this here. I'm pretty confident. If we don't, I, I, I'll I, be shocked. But we do take this. So GG to my man Dreadful Dragonite if you're watching this. That was, that was a super intense battle. Um, um, it felt super good to get back to, to winning ways. Uh, after last week's performance, which I'm still super disappointed about. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you guys enjoyed the team builder. I know this was a bit of a different kind of video with me doing calcs on screen. Um, I was definitely quite shaky today and quite an unsure frame of mind. So I apologize for that. If the video quality hasn't quite been as good as normal, if the commentary's been a little off, I do apologize. Um, but the most important thing is the Idol Isle got back to winning ways and this man is calling me out i don't know if you guys can see that but he's demanding a rematch and claiming that i cheated <laughs> well, he's only joking of course um but yeah thank you to dreadful dragonite as i said his channel will be linked down in the description and thank you so much for guys for joining thank you so much guys for joining me today i've really enjoyed this one it's been a good battle um Strumpf helped us build well for this we were well prepared and, and we managed to pick up the w back to winning ways hopefully we are still within reach of making playoffs for this season so i still desperately desperately want to make playoffs Anyway, guys, thank you so much for loafing around with me. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you again next time.